Citations of the Night's supposed to be stable. My name is Sir Hamptalot, and welcome to The Internet Made Me Buy It, Episode 6. It's been a while, hasn't it? I know I haven't done an Internet Made Me Buy It episode in, like, how long has it been, actually? Um, two months, I think? But basically, the reason I haven't done an Internet Made Me Buy It episode, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, I'm preparing for autismus. So basically, uh, I've had to put The Internet Made Me Buy It, and a search for Relax Merchant and any other series that isn't unboxing related on hold until after, until autismus. And even though this is an Internet Maybe Buy It episode, I am not doing an unboxing video for this episode. What I am going to be doing, however, I'm basically going to be re-reviewing episodes 1 through 5. Because trust me, there are some things here that did not need the seal of approval. So, let's get started. For episode 1 of the Internet Maybe Buy It, we got... Blubby the Blobby Seal. I'm still keeping my uh, my seal of approval for this thing. Honestly, like, it's so soft. Like, I can't... It's so soft and ridiculous, easily sized. But they do come in size small, medium, large. This is an extra large. So, yeah. But I'm still keeping my review. It's still seal of approval worthy. Episode 2 of The Internet Made Me Buy It was this 3D illusion light. That is Eevee themed. Now, the one the one caveat I have with this was the cord. As you can see, it's a little loose. I'm, I'm not sure what the problem is there. The original cord had the same issue. I thought it was shorting out. So I had to replace the cord it came with with an even longer cord. I basically had to replace it within the first few weeks of having it. I mean, it's still worthy of the seal of approval, but I just thought I'd point that out. The cord is kind of crap. Episode 3 of the Internet Made Me Buy It, we reviewed this Pokemon video game diorama that I found on Etsy. This is the part where of the video where I twist my thumb. I really like this thing, don't get me wrong, I really do, but not for the price I paid for it. It just sits up there next to my Xbox logo light. And can't really do much with, with it, honestly. Besides, have it sit there. And for 35 bucks plus tax, and I think I paid for shipping too. I can't remember, it's been that long ago. I have no choice but to uh, go from seal of approval to seal of disapproval. Don't get me wrong, the craftsmanship in, in that thing was incredibly done, but for something that small for that price, I'm sorry. For episode 4 of The Internet Made Me Buy It, we got the Starry Night Projector. This is another one I got the seal of approval, but I'm, and I have to twist my thumb on because, well, there are a few flaws with it. But I'm only twisting my thumb halfway. It's not seal of disapproval worthy, but it's also not worthy of the seal of approval. It's just seal of mediocrity. Why is that? For one thing, the audio. Like... When you turn it on, it is so loud, like, so loud that your eardrums will bleed. And there is a way to turn down the volume, like, right right here on the remote. The volume buttons are right here on the remote in there. You can also turn it off on the projector itself. But the volume controls make no flippin' sense. You go to the lowest setting... And instead of stopping and, and, and saying your the audio can't go any lower, it goes from lowest setting and reverts back to the highest setting. How does that make sense? Short answer, it doesn't. Another flaw it has is the Wi-Fi mode. The Wi-Fi mode has to be the most frustrating thing about this thing. Let me just show you real quick. I have it on Wi-Fi mode right now, and I have, and I have it on my phone. But for two days now, it's been offline. I know that wasn't a really crisp image, I'm sorry about that, but it literally has been offline for two days. I just can't get it back online without resetting the whole thing. And that's a process and a half. But other than that, it, I, I solely would use the Starry Night projector, especially this model, with the remote only. Which is why I keep it near my desk, or my bed every night. I would try out the way it plays music, but I don't want my ears to bleed. I'm, I'm really that scared of how loud it'll be. And I don't want to 
A, disturb my dogs, B, have my ears bleed, and C, have my nephew cry. Because it's that loud. So, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, Starry Night Projector, Seal of Mediocrity. And now we get to the last episode when I reviewed an armrest trade table. Every episode of The Internet Made Me Buy It will be posted on the top right corner as I talk about them. But for those who don't know, I bought this thing and it basically clips on to your, to your armrest. It basically clamps on to the side of your couch. When I bought this thing, I was a bit worried about it, you know, working with my couch because my couch is leather and it has a bit extra poof towards it. So I was a bit worried of it not working. But it does work. You just gotta be extremely careful. Cause uh especially when you live with three dogs and they they like to roll around on the couch. Basically, if you're not careful enough, they'll probably unclip unclamp it from the couch. But we haven't had that issue yet and uh it works pretty well. So with that, I still give it the seal of approval. It works pretty well. And I think with that being said, that is everything we reviewed. I really like making these videos, like honestly. I love doing the internet maybe buy stuff, but just give me a couple weeks and I'll bring it back, hopefully for autism. Oh, before you leave, speaking of autism, I have a major announcement I wanna make. For those who don't know, or for those who have recently subscribed to my channel, you would know that this is the fifth annual autismus I'm doing on this on this YouTube channel. I have I never thought we'd make it five years, honestly, for autismus, but we're about to do it. <laughs> and this year, I'm making it extra special. I've been working on this autismus for literally this month, last month, and September. I've been working on this since September. But basically, I've worked out all the all the tricks and how to, you know, make Autismus this year extra special. I made an intro for Autismus, which you will see December 14th, 9 a.m. And not only that, for this year of Autismus, to mark the fifth year, I'm going to be doing a second series. You heard me right. For those who remember last year's Autismus, I did 25 days. Here's the playlist. I basically opened an advent calendar for the first 24 days. This Autismus, there is going to be only 12 days, but the second series will have double the amount of videos. Why? The second series, along with Autismus, will be featuring the advent calendar. And I'm only going to be making them on my YouTube shorts, so, uh... Make sure you hit that bell, because make sure you don't miss out on that. What is the advent calendar we're going to be unboxing this year? It's, oh. I managed to get my hands on the Funko Pop advent calendar that's Pokemon themed. And I'm excited to unbox this thing, but give it a few more days and I'll be able to open it. I thought I'd point that out now, because by the time I'm uploading this, it's Black Friday. But mark your calendars, too, for every day from the 1st to, of December to Christmas Day. Each and every day from the 1st through the 24th at noon, there will be a YouTube short uploaded to this channel and it's gonna be a day, each day I'll be unboxing something out of that advent calendar. Mark my words, it will be done. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. Give the old subscriber and the old smizzity smack. And I'll see you on the nights in the next video. Dudes.